Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? Hi, I feel like I never start my videos fully glam and fully beat already. And here we are looking absolutely snatched. And the reason why I'm already snatched is because I actually filmed using the products I'm gonna talk about in today's video. So they can kind of overlay over what I'm talking so you guys can see how it works, see how it applies, things like that. So that is why I I'm already beat because I will be talking about these products. So what I decided to do, top 20 products I'll always be repurchasing and buying under $10. They're either $10 or less. There's only like one product here that's over $10 and I truly think that it is worth it. But everything else is for the most part under $10. That's what today's video is me, you guys. I'm gonna go over each product here. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something that I truly was like, I feel passionately about these products. And I think that if you guys bought these products and you guys were like in the mood to buy some things that were not super, super expensive, but things that actually worked really well, this could be a video for you guys to really kind of reference and not like have to spend an arm and a leg on products that are actually gonna work really, really nicely. So that's kind of what this video is about. I wanna like just show you guys there's a lot of options out there for things that are not super pricey and super expensive that can work and look absolutely gorgeous on the face and on the skin. That's what today's video is gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't like watch it. Don't do with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like when we do, you know, products under a certain amount of money, <laughs> if you guys like the gays. And non-binary people of all um, gender appropriations and the pronouns. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, let's we'll get started on our first product first. <laughs> Honey, 20 products, that's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. A lot of people will be scared. First things first, we have two primers, both from the same brand, but I just wanna talk about them really quickly. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% Niacinamide. This primer is absolutely incredible for that stickiness and for that longevity of the base and for a little bit of hydration and the way your skin looks, which it looks very kind of luminous and glowy. Not luminous because it doesn't have mica in it, but it has a glowy consistency. You're gonna look super hydrated. That's what you're gonna look. You're gonna look hydrated. The base is gonna be sticky. If you guys are into that kind of milk hydro grip primer, this is such a great do for it and has nice cinnamide in it, which I think is absolutely amazing. And I've seen that people have been allergic to the green version, but not allergic to the pink one. So I would definitely give it a try. I love the green one, I love the pink one. These are exactly $10. So I truly think that these are something that I will continue to buy forever. And I've rebought the green one multiple times. I think it's amazing. The pink one, fire, fire, fire. They absolutely slayed with this. The other primer is the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. This one retails for $10 as well. This primer is so good at feeling kind of lightweight, but still blurring the pores. Because I think a lot of the times when we're using like pore blurring primers, they feel heavy and they feel very like, damn. I'm wearing silicone on my skin right now. You know what I mean? Like that consistency is kind of off. It feels kind of weird. It feels very slippery, but this one doesn't really have that consistency. It doesn't have that feeling. It's not nearly as thick as other pore filling primers are. And it really does blur the pores. I think it's great. I like this more than the solid poreless putty. I just like that it's in a little squeezy tube. It's easier to use. You squeeze it out, boom, 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 boom. It's great. And I really do feel like this is like low key a do for the Tatcha silk canvas that's liquid. Elf knows what they're doing. Like, especially when it comes to primers, they absolutely, Okay, so for my base complexion product, we're gonna go in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Skin Tint. This is the one product here that is gonna be more pricey than $10, but I truly think that it's absolutely worth it. Let me look at the exact price. So when looking up the price, you guys, it kind of varies from different stores. At Target, it's $13.99. Um, at Ulta, it's $17. You know, it just depends on like, I guess where you get it. It's, let me see, CVS is $13.50. On Amazon, it's $13.90 on Walmart, it's $13.90. So at the end of the day, it could be around $13. This skin tint truly is like something I've been wearing so consistently recently. Since I bought it, I am like the biggest advocate. I love this. I love Maybelline. I'm a huge, huge Maybelline stan. I'm sure you guys know this. I was the first Maybelline ambassador. So I truly like have always had a special place in my heart for Maybelline because they, they just eat it up. Like they eat it up every single time. They give it to you every single time. And I really just absolutely love the brand. I love their values. I love what they stand for. I love that they're so inclusive with so many different things. And I feel like the actual Superstay skin tint is shocking because it is a skin tint. It feels lightweight. It's liquid. It feels like kind of watery, but the coverage is sickening and how long it lasts. It lasts so long on the skin, but still looks skin-like with hella coverage. It's hard to describe. It went viral, obviously, like 
on TikTok many times, and I can see why. It truly does. Like, even when you look at it, it kind of has a sheen inside the actual liquid itself. The only, my literal only one downside is that it's in a dropper. I'm just not a huge fan of the droppers because I think they're messy, and I just wish it was like in a pump instead. That's all I'm like truly like, I wish it was in a pump and a glass bottle. It feels like a serum, and it gives you like this almost radiance to it. It's hard to describe. It looks like my skin, but more radiant and better. And that's obviously like all I'm wearing on my face today as my like base. Like I put it here, not here. So you can see the veins popping through the blue of my veins popping through a lot more than here, but it still looks like skin. Does that make sense? You ate this at Maybelline. So yeah, this is our, our one over $10 product, but this one, I genuinely think it is so, so worth it. Next product is actually from Maybelline as well. This is the Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer in the shade 160 this is the pink one this is the only concealer i'm wearing today like it's the only thing i'm wearing it doesn't give me like full full coverage like i usually like to go but it does such a good job at brightening my under eyes covering up a good amount of stuff like it's not obviously full coverage like i was saying you still see a little bit of the blue and the hues there but it's so nice it doesn't like crease super super fast the consistency is really nice i don't love the sponge i think that overall i think it's a really dirty kind of packaging but i'm already halfway through this one and i will be continuing seeing buying this this retails for 10 bucks um, depending on where you get it, you know, there's some places that are like $10.99. Not even $14 on Amazon. What the fuck? But at Walmart, it's $6.50, $10.99 at Ulta. It kind of depends. You can find it under $10 if you really, really look for it. But this concealer shocks me. My under eye is so sick. It's so snatched. I look amazing. I do. And I'm allowed to say that because I believe in myself. And it's, I'd rather say that than I look like shit. Cause my body dysmorphia already does that to me. But honestly, I think you guys, if you guys were to try this out, I think you would love it. It's great for mature skin. It's great for all skin types. And I think that's why it's so popular because it's like great for like young people. It's great for older people. Overall, a sickening, sickening drugstore concealer. So next we have a bronzer that I'm literally, this is more of a recent obsession that I'm like actually gagged about, but I truly think that this is so slept on and I don't know why the freak People haven't told me about this already. This is the Hard Candy Liquid Bronzer. You guys, this is the face off bronzer in the shade, what should I do, Sweet Tea? The shade, gag me. The formulation, gag me. It's like this almost like gel-like consistency. The coverage is stunning. It's not patchy. It goes on so silky, gel-like, like I was saying, consistency. It's so, so, so beautiful. Like I can't even handle it. I love bronzers that have a little bit yellow to it. That's like my biggest thing. I don't want a bronzer that's too orange. I don't want a bronzer that's too red. I like bronzers with a little bit of like a yellowy tone. Cause I feel like that gives off a more golden sun vibe. Why would I want a bronzer that's red? Y'all got me, uh, absolutely not. So this one from Hard Candy, you guys, it is the shit. It really is like, to me, a, a dupe of the Glossier one. Cause it has a little bit of a sheen in it too. It has a little bit of reflect in it. It's just, Look at that, are you kidding me? What, what patching is? Nope, can't believe you guys are gatekeeping that for me. Like, I cannot even believe you. Uh, the price is only $7.94. Under $8, this one's under $8, and it's so nice, and I love the way it dries down, everything about it. Like, I, I've used this multiple times since I had it, since I did the hard candy video, and I'm like, I cannot believe. I cannot believe that I didn't know about this earlier. So sickening. Um, and the applicator, I mean, it, it's an easy thing to apply because it does have a paddle. It's like a liquid lipstick paddle. You can kind of rub onto the skin, easy. It's just easy to use. It's very user-friendly. The color is gorgeous. I think that if you're looking for a liquid bronzer from the drugstore, that's not gonna break the bank under 10 bucks. That actually is good, give Hard Candy a try. So in the same family, in the same realm, we have you know liquid contour as well. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour in the shade Light Medium. This contour, this contour. Let me look up the price. So the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour retails for $9, so only a dollar more than the Hard Candy one. This is a different color though. It's more of a cool tone, more contoury consistency. So as you can see, e.l.f. here, Hard Candy here. You can see there's just a lot more warm to it. This has more gray, cool tones to it to really give you that like shadowy effect. It's gonna really give you that like, you know, that chisel. We want that chisel. This is so easy to use. It's so simple to use. It's so nice. I absolutely love this. It has the same kind of like puffy applicator, which, you know, for me, I'm not really into the puff applicator situation. I'm just not like, I don't know. I wish I can get into it. I really do. I wish I can get into it because I feel like a lot of people do like it. But for some reason, like I'm not into the puff vibes. Other than puff puff pass, I'm not into it. 
the puff vibes. Other than that, you know, I think it's fantastic. I really do. I love the color. I love the formulation. It lasts stunning and it's easy to use and only nine bucks. So e.l.f. again did that. I think there's like five of the 20 are like e.l.f. products. But again, they're things I will continue to rebuy because they are so good and they are so sickening that I can't not get them. You know, like I can't not. It's too good. Next is going with some blushes. I have two blushes that I really want to talk about that I truly think are gag atrondra. We have the first one. This is the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek Blush in the shade Strawberry Crush. $9.99 on Amazon. Usually it's $11.50 but you can find it for deals for like $9.99, just depending on like where you get it, whether you're getting it at like a CVS, whatever it might be. It's $11.50 usually, but you can get it for like around under 10 bucks, you know? So what I like about this one a lot is because it's a little bit more of a sheer blush, but it's the glow that it gives that makes me obsessed with it. So when you put it on, it doesn't have the most pigment, right? It doesn't have the most pigment, not ever, but the way it looks on the skin with that hydration and that glow, it really is, it kind of like doubles as a glow and a blush in one. It's so insane. And you can use it on the lips. If you want to have a little bit of a tint on the lip, I like this color a lot too. I just love that like baby doll pink color a lot. I think it's great. I think the formula is really, really fantastic. I've used this many, many times. And if you're wanting something that is a little bit more on the sheer, more flush side, this is that girl that gives you that like, that almost like wet looking appearance on the skin. Do not use this if you already have powder on your skin. <laughs> Do not. It's so emollient that it will break up your powder so ferociously. It's not even worth it. And don't put it on your face directly with powder. Oh my God, wipe your shit right off. But it is beautiful and I love it. And I love putting it on my lips, I love putting it on my cheeks. Just an easy, easy thing to use, especially on the more natural days. Not necessarily for like the full glam. Now for the full glam, we got this, this bitch right here. I feel like I've talked about this in a video like this before but I gotta mention it again because it is so sickening, it's specifically in this shade. This is in the shade Love Cake. These are the She Glam Color Blooms. These blushes. So these bad boys only retail for $4.99 and they are some of the most gorgeous liquid blushes. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So, so unlike the Flower Beauty one that's a little more sheer and more glowy, this is full coverage and not nearly as glowy. This is more of like a pigmented satiny, kind of finish with the dry down. So this, I feel like these two combined though, is just chef's kiss. I honestly, stupidly, because I wasn't paying attention, like a dumbass bitch, I put the flower, like today, I put the flower beauty one down first, and then I did she glam on top, which I usually do a more satin, like full coverage blush, and then I do the glowy one on top. But I was fucking dumb today. Like I was stupid, dude, like whatever. But anyway, these blushes are slay, specifically in the shade Love Cake. This is my favorite shade in all of them because it gives you that perfect baby doll pink. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. It just gives you that like perfect muñequita like vibe. It's so dolly, it's so dolly. And I just love it. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today as my under like blush. It looks so freaking good. And these are only $4.99 and like, I feel like you can share these out or you can build them up. And I like the little chupon, I love that. I just wanna suck on it, dude, like, it's phallic. Really quickly, let me just say this is one of my 20. This e.l.f. brush, I literally own like five of them. I'm not, like, I'm obsessed with this brush. This is the Complexion Duo. It is such a dupe for like the It Cosmetics Duo that they have because this side is dense enough to use cream and like if you wanna use Foundation, like liquid, you can use it with this because it's dense enough, but it's loose enough also to go in with like blush, like powdered blush, things like that. You can use it with that, with this as well. And then having a little concealery kind of side on the side. I don't use this side as much. If I do, it's more so like for actually to blend out concealer or a highlighter on my nose. That's like what I usually use it for. But overall, this brush, no puedo, no puedo. And this guy retails for only $8. For it to be such a good ass brush, I've literally bought so many of them. Elf really did that with this brush. They really did that with this brush. This pinchy polo, this powder, this is the She Glam Skin Focus High Coverage Powder Foundation. Mama dearest. So this bad boy here retails for $8.99 for a literal stunning foundation powder that gives you insane coverage. This, the shade that I use is actually in the shade Sand. It's like a little more tan than I am to be H. To be H, like it's a little darker than I go, but guess what? I'm pale as shit and I wanna have a little bit of coverage sometimes. So this is literally what the color looks like. It has like a little bit more of a, you know, deeper complexion than I really am, but 
I don't care. I don't care. I use it all the time. I think it's amazing. I use it on the perimeters and then lightly kind of set inwards. But what I like about this is I really do feel like it gives you amazing coverage. The consistency is incredible. It blurs out your skin. It's like overall such an amazing, incredible foundation powder. If you're into like the foundation powder vibes, I think you'll live for this. And I don't feel like it looks dry on the skin. Like if you're only using just this only, it doesn't look dry to me and it gives you insane coverage. Imagine, okay, so you can do literally all this, do a little bit of setting spray, a little setting mist. Maybe it looks like you're wearing liquid foundation. It looks so freaking good. So I use this more so as like a finishing powder. I'll set my face and then I'll use this as like my finishing powder to kind of like give me color back to the skin. That's why I use these for. But for only $8.99, their range is sick too. The range is sick. Quick shout out to Lunar Beauty Sponges. These are only $10 as well. And I use this today and like I can't live without them. I'd rebuy them every single time. Even though I don't technically have to buy them because they're my it's my brand. But like these sponges, the LB sponge, they're perfect. Not too soft where they'll break apart, but not too firm either. They're perfect with that LB on it. Sickening. For the brow, you guys, I have to mention this because it's so good. These are the NYX Brow Glues, specifically in the color. And the color form, this is in the shade Dark Brown. So these bad boys depends on where you get them. $8.99 at CVS, Bad Ulta, they're 10. So it just kind of depends. They're all around in the $10 range. What I like about these is I love that there's like a little bit of a color to it, to a tone. I like the original, like it's okay. Like I wasn't obsessed, but I'm obsessed with like the colored one. The one that actually has like dark brown to it. I just think it's nice. I feel like it gives me such a natural fullness, like but also looking really, really fluffy. Like, is it the strongest brow gel I've ever used? No, I've definitely used stronger. But from the drugstore to have such a good brow gel that has a tint to it, I think it's fire and I absolutely love how tiny, how tiny the little like sponge is. Not sponge, the little bristles. Overall, I think this is an absolute slay from NYX, specifically the ones with color added to them. Cause the other one, I feel like it gave me like a white cast, like the, the original it gives me like a white residue and I don't like that shit. These do not do that. And I love, love how they look. Okay, eyeshadow wise, I have to mention these palettes because truly, they gag me every time that's what I'm wearing on my eyes, of course. These are the She Glam Vinyl Pop Color Palettes. So these bad boys retail for $7.49, under $8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like, powdered shadows and, like, two creams. So the one I use all the time is the Sunkiss Revier. Revier? Revier? I don't know what that means. Uh, and then I also really love the Rose so Sonata. It's the same exact, like, layout. One, two, three, four, five mattes, two like shimmers, two creams. These shadows are so sick. The bitch, the creams, the brown and the black creams in the palette. Let me show you guys. Literally, that was one dip that I just did. One little dip. Okay, these are the creams. Dude. Dude, they gag me. And then I'm going to do, do the shimmers. The shimmers are so sick too. Let me show you guys. One dip in the shimmer on that one. Let's do one in this one. For only $7.49, for the shadows to be as, as good as they are, for the creams to be as good as they are, for it to look and blend the way that they do, it shocks me. It literally shocks me because I'm obsessed with these. I think these are fantastic. I, I literally gag for them. My favorite one specifically is this one, the Sunkissed Revieri. Revier? Revieri? It's like kind of like bronzy, cool tone energy. I like it a lot, dude. I just absolutely, I don't know what kind of crack they put into these. These are so sick. I usually, I, I've done like campaigns with She Glam and I usually will have a code, Manny MUA. You guys can try it out. I don't think we have any active campaigns going on right now. You guys can try and see if there's a code that works. Should we try? Damn, no valid code. I apologize, you guys. I don't have, I'm not, I don't have any active campaigns, so I, like, I don't have a code, of course, right now, but they're great and they're only $7.49, like truly, Setting spray really quickly that I just want to talk about. The Dewy Coconut Setting Mist from e.l.f. Phenomenal. Fire. Insane. Gorgeous. It's a literal dupe for the Huda Beauty Coconut Mist. And I have been through like two of those. This is a dupe for it. It makes your skin look as if it literally is like skin. But it basically like rehydrates your skin of what it once was. So it like basically just gives you a little bit of revamping and re-moisturizing. I like, I just like the coconut mist aspect. I love the way it smells. I love the way it looks on my skin. I feel like I was looking more dry before. Now I feel like my skin looks like more skin-like as well as me being essentially full coverage right now. I'm full coverage, but I feel like my skin still looks breathable and it still looks like skin, which I love about this. Incredible, 10 out of 10. How much are you? This guy retails for $10. This is not like a longevity setting spray. This is a 
revamping, hydrating kind of vibe. So we have two little bad boys for these eyes. So this is my, probably my favorite drugstore eyeliner like ever. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Flash Cat Eye Eyeliner. Like this damn eyeliner is so, I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed with it. Oh, see, I mean, honestly, for it to be a little dried out and for it to still be giving us this is gag. It's giving us gag. So the cool thing about this one, I don't use this part of it because it's just like, I literally don't use it. I don't care. So it comes with like a little thing that you can like help guide your like eyeliner. Cause it's supposed to be like to help you with like cat eye. But this is a bristle tip pen liner that has the most gorgeous deep ass black formula. It gives you a satin finish. It's so it's not like shimmery, but it's not matte. So if you guys want, want a really mattifying eyeliner, it's not gonna be this one, but it does give you a nice satin finish. It's not too bad. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. It just, it's so good. It's so good, it's easy to use. It's easy to guide. The bristles are so sharp. Like formulation is so sickening. It doesn't really bleed on me. Like everything about this eyeliner is so, it eats. How much are you? It's $10.99, so it still counts because it's still $10. I think that if you guys want to try out, like if you're like in the like mood for like, oh, I want to try out like a bristle tip eyeliner that's actually really good and easy to use, that has a great formulation, check out the L'Oreal Infallible. And then also, really quick shout out to the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencils. In the shade specifically, Silky Nude, I love this. I've bought like two more of these just so I never literally run out. I think they're so beautiful, it's in my waterline. It lasts gorgeously, it's so inexpensive. They're only $3.99 and they are so, so good. Are you kidding me? Specifically in this shade though, like, cause this shade is so, mm, mm, praise. Praise be. I'm out here going to church with this damn eyeliner. I, again, am like not a huge fan of, I've been talking about this on the podcast, but I don't really wear like white in my waterline. I have just never have. I don't think it looks like really good or flattering on me. Um, but nude in the waterline, like a silky nude color like this, I think looks gorgeous. Obsessed, try out silky nude. And honestly, if you want, try out like the black and the brown. Not super expensive, high quality, really creamy, easy to use and it lasts a good amount of time on the eyes. You should definitely try it. Mascara wise, I've already said this about a gazillion times, so I don't think I need to keep going in detail. This is the Maybelline Sky High. I'm obsessed. I think it looks beautiful on my lashes. I, it lasts so gorgeously. It doesn't transfer my lower lash line. It doesn't drop my curl super quickly. I mean, it doesn't like keep my curl up exponentially, but it doesn't drop my curl. It is such a good mascara. And you can find it at Walmart for $9.98 or on Amazon for $8.98 or at Ulta for $12. What I really want is for them to come out with a waterproof version of this. If they come out with a waterproof version of this, it's a wrap. It's a literal wrap, Nicki Minaj. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? The formation is great. I love the wand. I will say it's a little bit of like a flimsy wand, which I don't like absolutely love. Like I love like a more dense wand, but overall the formula is really nice. It lasts a great amount of time on the eyes and it's very volumizing. The more coats you do, the more volume. It's great. It really is such a great mascara. So I got to talk about this, these lashes real quick. The ones that I'm wearing right now, these lashes are a secret weapon of mine. They really are. They really freaking are. So these are the Kiss lashes in the style Sire. That's the ones I'm wearing right now. Those are the ones I applied. I'll show you guys what they look like in the box pre applying them. They are, I would say, some of the most lightweight feeling lashes ever. And they look so fluffy and so fluttery. And I absolutely love this faux mink style that they do. It's so gorgeous. Specifically in this style. So like I love this is my kind of this is my kind of style. Like I love a shorter in the front, a winged out in the back to give me that elongation in the eye that I always crave. Cause I have fucking hooded lids. I want a lift. I want a damn face if I want an eye lift. I want every lift possible. So this truly does, like I feel like, lift the eye. I'm literally obsessed with this pair. These bad boys retail for only $7.99. The cool thing about these two is that the, they're, the band is so thin. It doesn't feel like a heavy band at all. It doesn't feel like I'm literally wearing lashes. It feels like I'm not wearing anything. They're so good. The only thing about these, I feel like because the band is so thin, they're easier to rip. So you just have to be a little bit more careful with them. And you have to be careful with like the taking care of them. If you want to keep wearing them and keep using them, just take care of them more because then the band is thinner. So usually with the thicker the band, the longer that they will last because they have a little bit more to hold on to, the bristles. But if they don't and the band is really thin, you just have to be more careful. You gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for the girlies because they will fall apart if you do not take care of them. So just, just 
just watch out for that. And last two things, my two lippies here. You guys already know. You guys already know, which I have bought multiple times. This is the Rimmel London Kate Lipstick in the shade 42. It's the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It's the lipstick that just, you know, launched a thousand lips. If you've been watching me for a while or like, you know, have been keeping up with me in some capacity with makeup, you guys know the K42 is my obsession drugstore lipstick. This one and like the L'Oreal 800 Nude like are like my favorite drugstore lipsticks like of all time. So this one's just harder to find so I try not to include it as much. But I'm so obsessed like I can't not include it. Like I'm literally obsessed. So this bad boy retails for only $6.95 on Amazon. There's, it's so good. I love the smell. I love the consistency. I love the way it looks on my lips. It looks so hydrating. Uh, it gags me every time. Just thinking about you, just you, you slay me. I will love this subject to the end. I think I want to be I want to be buried, buried with this. And last but not least, you guys, we have the new. This is more of a new one for me, but I'm literally obsessed with these. These are the CoverGirl Yummy Glosses. The CoverGirl Fresh Yummy Glosses. These glosses are so freaking slay. They're very hydrating and a little bit thicker, but they don't feel thick. Does that make sense? Like they have a thicker consistency. Look how big the wand is, too. I love a fat ass wand like this. Ugh, they are a thicker consistency, but they're not sticky. Ugh, and the color that I go to, that I wear the most often, the one I like the most, is this one. This is in the shade Sugar Poppy 150. And they retail for at Walmart like $7, Amazon $6, Ulta $10.99. I love them! They're just really nice. They really, really are. They're hydrating, non sticky, gorgeous. That is it. I'm a complete disaster. Do you guys see me right now? Do you see? I look like shit. Um, my hands are good shit, my face, not so much. I'm obsessed, I love the way I look, I do, I'm sorry. I think I look so snatched, I look so sickening. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, I had a lot of fun getting these together for you guys, filming actually the, me using them and over clipping them into the video. Obviously like I said earlier, this is not a sponsored video, I genuinely just love these products and I've used them, I've been using them for a long time now and I truly am like, wow, these products for $10 and under, you know, or $10.99, $13, for some, are incredible and I think that you guys would really enjoy them and if you guys are gonna spend your hard-earned money on products and you don't have as much money to spend on makeup these truly I think would slay you and I wouldn't put these in these videos if I didn't think that that you guys wouldn't love the products or love like the vibe of it especially as someone like who's been reviewing makeup for literally 10 years these are slay I hope you guys had fun watching how you guys to the night or day wherever you guys are and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye I love you the Tatcha Silk Kit the Tatcha Silk Canvas Liquid? Damn, that's hard for me to say. My voice! Ariel, my voice! She were more glowy side. <laughs> uh. <sighs> late, 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 late. Day, 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 day. I went to the Beyonce concert two days ago and I was still like lit from it.